Hello and welcome again. Uh, well, this time I, I went gaga over doing some electronics projects. Um, and so far this I have been successful in doing a uh, circuit from all the designs they've made. Some have failed even with uh, having the exact parts on it and it was a trial and error actually. Uh, this is my latest uh, uh, testing and so far I've been successful I'm running it on a 6 volt battery uh, there were some, some schematics on the 6 volt but uh, apparently um, the transistor when I was trying to do it failed I mean it heated up so there was some problem with the circuit design I'm not sure uh, why but uh, so far this has been successful uh, I'm running two LEDs right now here and this will light up uh, when uh, this photoresistor um, senses that it's getting dark uh, for now I'll just use a standard cap to cover the photoresistor and you will notice that uh, it will indeed light up there you go and take it out and cover it again and take it out now depending on the LEDs that you'll be using um, or uh, if you're using a, a photoresistor that's larger uh, you'll probably need to change the capacitor there on the positive terminal the other capacitor oh no that's not a capacitor a resistor by the way second resistor is just a 470 ohm resistor so uh, changing the value so that you'll get uh, the maximum light output as well as uh, making sure that uh, as you will see the LEDs are actually off uh, using the correct uh, resistor if you don't use the correct resistor you will see some uh, speck of light over it so again uh, this circuit if I if I cover it it lights up okay now this circuit actually will go into one of the let me see Where's that now? Yes. I have uh, this old Fulton flashlight. This is the, my very first successful circuit, actually. As you will see, that uh, it's using a CREE LED with a 555 timer and a capacitor, the yellow one, and some resistors. Uh, it's still crudely made. It's not it's not perfect but it works for this one actually uh, with the on and off switch here okay this one is a blinker so if you turn this on it will blink now it might wash out the light might wash out but uh, I'll turn it on and of course since you have this uh, sort of clip here you can just clip it at night in your uh, backpack if you're hiking and that is pretty bright actually okay now if you press the momentary then re release it works fine I'll eventually uh, modify it so that those wires won't be hanging out but as I said this circuit is much simpler and uh, it will go into one of my photon flashlights okay and of course uh, that's not the only thing that I've been doing actually sorry I'm holding the camera in one hand and I guess the camera is trying to focus on it uh, here you'll see oops a CFL it's not bright because the batteries are kinda old okay that's a CFL lighted on Where's the battery? There you go. Oops. That's a 1.5 volt bat battery. And that's this battery is already almost run down actually. I've been playing around with some jewel thieves. 
and of course you have your on and off switch here it's still in the experimental stage again and of course it's running on interestingly it's running on uh, this circuit which came out of a uh, what you call disposable camera and of course the wires I have just did now you'll see that blue tape over there it's got the the two on the underside okay it's got two soldered sections there which I had to tape off temporarily now if you turn on that 1.5 volts those two solder points over there produces 225 volts and you'll definitely get a jolt out of it uh, for now this is on the testing stage I still want to uh, let me see that's not quite bright and you'll see it's flickering because it, the battery is kind of old but as you'll see it works of course the CFL here the innards of this have been taken out already so it's just bare wire inside and uh, I've connected the two wires over there onto this uh, I'm trying to be careful not to touch the circuit because uh, one uh, that's one thing that uh, nobody probably has told you is that those two uh, solder connections over at the tape end uh, produces 225 volts so you have to be careful in doing that um, for this I'm using a CVS uh, uh, disposable camera and as you will see uh, fairly straightforward the positive and the negative uh, that goes into the 1.5 volt battery and on this side of course hoping the camera will focus is actually the switch which I uh, just connected instead of you know touching on it and of course the two circuits over there you will see there's uh, a row of four uh, it's it's the second circuit there we go. It's the second circuit from the left, and the uh, other point will be actually anything on that row on the right side will work. In this case, uh, I use it here, and then just pass through so that I know that that one, this two yellow wires go to the bulb there's no polarity in it uh, since it's it produces 14 volts AC or alternating current actually you won't get the DC on that it's 14 volts alternating current that's why it's lighting and it's flickering right now so the battery is almost gone actually again that's just one of the experiments I did uh, using a disposable camera uh, circuit uh, some have already modified it actually they've taken the innards out and made uh, made it work on a perforate uh, on a PC board similar to this uh, but uh, I'm doing it from time to time because I have so many projects this is just an interesting one which is actually successful I don't know with the Fuji I've tried it uh, uh, perhaps I'm making I'm doing something wrong with uh, trying to connect those wires at the back of this for the Fuji circuit but this one actually works again this project which initially I've shown you will go into the one of my photon flashlights as I said the other one when the light uh, when the sun goes down it goes dark it automatically automatically turns on uh, of course you can switch it off uh, using the switch over here and uh, that will be for another uh, video but as I said if I 
okay if I cover this there's your light and I take it out the light turns off again if you're using different uh, LEDs uh, the resistor from the positive on this side not the one from the LED uh, needs to be changed right now it's running uh, it has 200 K kilo ohms on it and the standard 470 just to protect the LEDs um, plus of course I'm using a small photo resistor if you're using the the size three times the size of the photo resistor uh, this resistor has to go to 220 K right now this is only 200 and as you can see there's no light coming from it all right uh, everything's cluttered so many wires and everything but yeah I'm just practicing on that and there's my soldering station actually hmm I got it cheap actually for uh, from the thrift shop got it for 10 bucks and that thing cost around what 100 over a hundred dollars and practically works again let's try it on there you go there's no, if darkness falls the LED lights simple circuit uh, I've added of course by the way the uh, ceramic capacitor over there so that uh, if there's any uh, ripple voltage due to uh, any magnetic uh, interference it will uh, it will uh, smoothen it out again you have the capacitor you have the photoresistor two resistors there uh, that's a th um, resistor I'll have to put it later on and everything works fine happy with that circuit all right thanks for watching bye